Hey everyone, Notorious here. Grateful as always to have you with me. Check this out. This is my latest creation slash origination. Um, this is the Precision SRS 5. So if you haven't seen already, I have a series that just came out. It's the SRT Hitch series and the fourth episode will go over. It's not out yet, but by the time this goes out, it probably will be. In fact, I know it will be. So check it out. It's the fourth episode of the SRT Hitch series, and that goes over Precision SRS 1 through 4. These are four hitches that I've come up with that, you know, sequentially got better and better. So... Um, and this is probably no different. Um, this is by far probably the best hitch out of all five. Um, so it did get sequentially better. And I want to share this with you because it's, I've never seen a hitch like it anywhere ever before. So um, here we go. First we got a coil, and here you can see it's intermingled with the ring here, this aluminum ring. This is a 38 millimeter ring, I believe. And if you're wondering what the other side looks like, well, this is something for the experts out there. Uh, this is not for the new climber slash hitch tire. Uh, this is for someone who's been doing it for a long time. Or at least someone who's good at following directions. I'll say that. Uh, because I'm about to show you how to tie this hitch. And it may look overwhelming, but it's not as bad as you think. And I'll prove it to you. So, here we've got... A this is the basic precision SRS form for at least between numbers three through five, and it's got this ring that I've made out of one of the hitch legs, and then that goes into here, up through here, around, and this way, and then the bottom portion of the coil goes down through here, around, through here, around. There you go, and that's what's forming the ring. And now you can see you've got friction both from the circle here and all this going on, um, as well as the ring on the reverse. So that's really hugely beneficial. And rings are great for friction on rope because they're, they don't really cause as much damage and they don't heat up as much and it's a different type of friction it's a more smoother friction um so that's something to consideration excuse me to take into consideration so this is the hitch it's the precision srs5 let's learn how to tie it shall we <laughs> okay so in order to tie the Precision SRS5, you're going to start with two-thirds of your hitch cord over to the left and one-third over to the right. If you're wondering, I'm using a six-foot hitch cord. Okay, so six feet is all you need for this, unless you are tying it with a diameter larger than eight millimeters or nine millimeters you might need slightly longer um, so there's that first thing you're going to do is wrap up to create four wraps and then Take your top leg, 
cross over the other leg like that. Now, what you're going to do is you're going to take this resulting left leg and bring it under, see that, under the other leg. Actually, no, I'm sorry. You're going to take it and bring it over the other leg. Actually, it doesn't really matter because you're going to adjust that anyway but you do bring it underneath these two strands like that. And then you're going to tie an overhand knot, a sideways overhand knot right here. You see that? Now it's good to tighten everything so that it's approximately the size of the ring and then you're going to take the ring and place it underneath the rope lined up with this hitch and then you're going to take this left leg pass it through the ring then pass it inside of itself and between the rope and itself and then pull it up through here and then bring it through the ring again and then through the hitch cord leg ring and then off to the left of itself like that. Then, with this other side, you're going to bring it through the ring, then you want it to um, go inside and between the rope and itself, but just so that it comes up through the other ring here. And so you've got that, and then go around, pass it through, then up to the right of itself, like that. And now you dress and now you dress and set. Okay. And So there you have it. That is the hitch. And you're going to continue to want to dress this and make it nice and snug. So we're going to Get it down through here. So we got that. And as you can see, it grabs. Um, you just want to make sure this is tighter, too, actually. And um, let's see. Perfect. So now that that's a little more compact, it's going to sit there better on top of the ring. So, 
And once you've done this, if you saw the second episode in this series, um, you would see that there is also, um, or actually, yeah, if you saw the episode in my SRT series, you saw that I talked a lot about skib. And what skib is, is a method of tying eyes for a hitch. And now this is no different. What we can do here is pretty special. It's, we're going to open up in between here and then take this end and we're going to push it through. So it comes out the back on the other side. And then we're going to do the same thing. We're going to open it up here. And then push it through so that it comes out on the opposite side. Now, at this point, it's good to take a carabiner and bring it through the eyes. And that way, you can pull these so that it's nice and tight. Okay. And once you've done that, I usually just tie an overhand. Okay, so once I've done that, I end up with this. And check this out. So now I've got the rope sandwiched in between the textile ring and the aluminum ring. And it's just, I can just bring it in like that and it, it grabs readily. And so, yeah, this has been the um, Precision SRS-5. It's a little complicated. This is for experienced hitch tires only. Um, you don't wanna do anything to hurt yourself. So if you're not familiar with what I'm doing or if you don't think you can do it, um, I'm not saying don't push yourself to do more than you already know how to do. I mean, that's what learning is all about. Uh, but don't do anything that's too far above your pay grade where you might hurt yourself. So um, I have done a lot of testing on this and it's one of my new favorites. Obviously it's not always practical, but if you can tie it one time and on a rope and on a job site and you know have it ready to go then you're good to go I mean it only took me what um, 10 minutes to tie this but that was with me telling you exactly what I'm doing every step so if I were to do this on my own this would t take maybe like two and a half or three minutes to tie um, probably even less so there's that, and all right. Thanks so much for watching. Check out my channel if you haven't already for more hitch how-tos, not tutorials, and climbing videos. I've got long form and short form videos ready to go. Thanks so much for watching, bye.